So I recently got a request to make a video tutorial on how you can create comic using AI and today I'm making a video on how you can create your comics using AI such as what you're seeing right here. This is a comic I just created using comic AI which is now called Skyreels AI. So um, watch this video because it's an intense tutorial on how you can create your comics using this particular AI site. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the online also studio. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscription button, like this video and make sure you comment and share this video as well. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's dive in. Today I'll be using the tool called Skyreels AI, which was formerly known as Comic AI. Now if you go through my videos, you are going to see a video I did um, last year around um, October about um, Comic AI. Now that site has evolved and they are now called Skyreels AI. This is one of the most beautiful sites you can use to create your comics. Now you can see this is one of the comic I tried creating earlier on but I abandoned it because I think I'm not ready for that. And as you can see the characters this site generated for me, it was nice. And this is also another comic I'm actually working on. It is called the dark side and then you can see how this looks you can see the kind of images and how these actually arranged my image and then pages one two three as you can see so the site is actually good and amazing and then i'm going to show you how you can create your comic using this site so do not forget to subscribe to the channel let's dive into what we have for today now the first step into creating your comic you come to the site skyrus ai and as you can see there are two versions of this which is the basic version and the pro versions now the pro version is actually for people who are skilled and masters in creating comics who, are, who have been creating comics for years and then the basic version is just basically for people who are just starting out in the comic industry now if you don't know how to just use the basic version and i'm going to show you what to do so first day we are going to head over to chat gpt and for the sake of this video i don't want to create a long comic so i'm going to ask chat gpt i want to create a comic could you help me with a short script and panels not more than 10 panels for creating my comic help me with the story and then ChatGPT will help us generate the scripts and the panels for the creation of our comics so just follow through with what I'm doing so as I'm working on this I'm going to upload So while I input my prompt and then I'm going to send now as you can see um, comic ChatGPT starts giving us panels for our comic and stories so we are going to see panel 1 to 3 down to 10 and that is the final and what I'm going to ask it again to do for me is to give me a the character build, description of the characters, their physical qualities and all. That is what I'm going to use to create a uh, my characters. So once you add ChatGPT, you're gonna ask it to help you give it the description of the kind of comic you want to create. So it could help you generate the panels for your, all your sto the stories for your um, comic. Then ask it to help you with the character build, the physical qualities, the um, description of your characters which it is going to give you names and then give you attributes and qualities to that. So what I'm going to do next, I will head over to um, back to Skyreels, to the AI site, and I'm going to come to basic version because I don't want to show you how the pro version looks like. So I'll come to the basic version and then I'm going to choose a style in which I want to create my comic. As you can see, there's superhero style, manhwa style, and um, so I'm just going to pick these style right here i think the manual action 
I'm gonna pick that and then I'm going to start now once I've done that you can see beneath here um, the kind of style I want to create my um, under the manual style you're gonna see other styles templates you want to create your um, story in your comic in so I'm just gonna pick anyone that works for me now once I do that it's going to ask me to put in my story so I'm gonna go copy all the panels that ChatGPT helped us generate and I'm gonna come here and input those panels into the story side then the basic version will automatically generate us our characters and also automatically help us generate some layouts for the for the comic now it might not be what i want like you can see here it's not what i want so i'm gonna come back here copy the description of my character and i'm going to go and ask it to help me build so i'm going to build each of the characters all over again Now I build the second character which is the um, demons he will be fighting. And if you don't like the image of what it generates, you can go ahead and you know regenerate until you get what you want. I don't really like this so I'm still going to regenerate again so you can see here you can pick any of the ones you want you can pick any of those and then once you if you have earlier generated other ones and then feel like maybe the old ones are better you can just click on any of them to replace with the current image and once that's done i'm going to head over and create our last character and then this is our last character i think i'll go with this so once i've gotten my characters i will just save and then it will take me to the layout page. I don't need this. It's tried helping me generate panels, but I don't need those. It doesn't work with what I want. So I'm going to delete all of that and then I'm going to start working on my layout. Now it gives you layout on, so if you need to use any of these, you can actually pick from here. And if you need to probably do one of yours, you can actually create and work with your own panel. So now I'm going to start generating my um, layout. So I'll just head over to ChatGPT, copy the the first um, panel that was generated. I'll just find what I need to generate, and then head over here, and then I'm going to regenerate this because I don't need. I need the city, not the guardian. So I'm just going to regenerate, remove the option from picking on the guardian now once i've done that i'll wait for my image to be generated
now my image has been generated I'm going to save it and then I can copy this and put on the first layout there and then probably extend this a little bit here then once I'm done with that I'll go ahead copy the second panel the details I need now if you understand properly you don't even have to copy the um, panel descriptions what you can do you can just understand what the panel is saying then generate a scenario in your head give the AI a prompt that you feel is okay and then let it generate that for you so this is a step-by-step -step tutorial so it's probably going to take a few or kind of a long um, time for us to do this I'll try to make the video as short as possible and so as you can see I've started my build and I'm going to go ahead with that so do well to follow through with the video description I don't want to make this too long so I might not be saying much anymore because I feel you should be understanding better now so I'm going to probably dive into more actions now while you watch what I'm doing so if you have to pick whatever you're generating for you can pick the option if it has to do with the demon if it has to do with the guardian you can pick the um, guardian if he needs to appear in the scene now if it doesn't need to or if you have to generate the generate image for the three you can actually pick on two or three of them and then it will generate an image where three of them are inside are in the scenes so that is how it works and so just follow through with the basic process as I'm going on with these so that you would understand what I am doing
so now that we are done generating our images and our scenes then we've clearly mapped them out in their layouts what we are going to do next is I'm going to start filling in my text putting in the text where they have to be and um, so um, you see I'm going to come here and then just watch how I'm going around this so I can copy this then head back to the video you see an icon after this and then I'll click on that add a text box once I do that I can also change the color of the text um, you can see color down here I can quickly change the color here to white and then change the font um, size then I can actually also change the font text if I want to make it bold I can if I want to make it in italic I can if I also want to reduce the size I can do that here as well so I will start putting in the text and the, the text and then the just probably put in the text and the speech for everyone so this is just a sample of what it looks like doing comic with sky relay high you can also look at that and then two years as well so the second speech looks like the guardian is thinking aloud to himself so i'm going to find a catalog that is actually replicates um, thoughts and not speech So I'll just arrange my text and my speech to uh, probably make it look much better and okay. So I'll follow through the video process like I said and where it's necessary for me to speak I will do that.
you can see my comic is ready but i'm gonna come here i didn't give it a title so i'm just going to i wanted to ask ChatGPT to help me generate a title but something quickly got into my head and then i'm going to pick that as the title the garden so after i'm done with that i would go over to next so that can be saved head over to publish my comic on the site now you can publish it on the site and then or you can download it from the site and actually publish it any other places any other place you feel like publishing so I'm going to hit on publish and download So once I hit on the download button, once I click on the download button, it brings me here. So I'm probably going to input my title, then pick the layout for the comic, what would be displayed. And then I'm going to actually put in some descriptions. If there's no description, you can actually go ahead and put in some tags as you wish. Then once that's done. I will hit on the publish and download and that would automatically publish my image my comics into to the site itself so if you download the app you can actually check out your comic then I can also download the comic and put them on other sites so that's how you can create comic using comic AI or should I say Skyrim's AI thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video share and leave a comment Thank you.